come to me. Bop, 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 bop. This one looks lame now. The other one looks way cooler. Pretty music. Hark, the call of the heavens, the earth, the sea. They summon me forth to defeat evil. Ooh. Waka, the god's gift to man is here. Bonjour. Cow Master Waka. Okay. What's up with that guy? That crimson shading and divine instrument on your back. You look... Kind of weird, but I reckon you pack a punch, baby. <laughs> hey, think you're so special way up there, huh? Get down here and talk face to... Wait, did he say crimson shading? Can he see Amy's true form? Do a flip! Who stuck the landing? Yo. Ooh, he's a Jedi. Hey, he drew a sword. We. Oui. This is how I get my point across, pun intended. The moment the cursed zone started spreading across Nippon, I saw the shadowy figure that removed the sacred sword Tsukuyomi flee into Kamiki village and seal the entrance with a huge rock. You guys know anything about that? No. This guy give me, gives me the creeps. Better keep your eye on him. Huh? Amy, you getting all worked up again? Yes. Magnifique. I wouldn't have it any other way. Now you shall get an earful of my beloved sword. Behold, Pillow Talk. Wait. You, you can't name your lightsaber Pillow Talk. Let's rock, baby. Okay. I think. Birdhead motherfucker. Shit. What the fuck? Look how many hits I do. Hello? That's a lot of hits! It's been quite some time since I've tasted your power, Amaterasu. That's enough for now. Too late now. You're the one who picked the fight. Hey, wait. You know this guy, Amy? <laughs> well, that was pretty tactless. Excusez-moi, baby. You see, I was looking into that cursed zone that struck this area. It consumed all in its path, even the light of the sun. It is the curse of Orochi, the legendary eight-headed serpent. O Orochi? Yes? This isn't a surprise. Do not utter that name without reason. That alone could curse the weak of mind. Orochi was slain 100 years ago by Nagi and Shiranui, and its evil spirit was sealed away in the moon cave which I guarded. You know, the cave in the middle of the lake over on Shins Shinshu Field. But someone has gone and freed Orochi by removing Tsukuyomi. The beast's evil has caused a cursed zone to cover these lands. Hey, I see the, you the bear again. I never thought the sacred sword could be so easily removed. Whoever did it waited until I was back in the capital. 
It seems things are afoot that even I did not prophesize. Ooh. Me too, Almadarasu. God damn. We're way ahead of you, pretty boy. We've been busy dispelling the curse left and right. That Orochi is going to be mincemeat when we're through with it. So, you're the ones who've revived the trees in this area. But a lot of time's passed since Orochi's return. You'd better pick up the pace, Mon Cherry. What? I'm sorry to say our battle just now was a big disappointment. You're not what you used to be, Amonarasu. You may have defeated Orochi long ago, but one cannot dwell on past glories. You have weakened greatly during your 100 year slumber. That's enough! Look at him, dude. He's going. Now tell me about that shadowy figure you saw fleeing to Kamiki. How do we know it wasn't you? Angry bug. Relax, my little bouncing friend. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a little prophecy for you. I can see into the future, you know. I foresee a log and big thrills. Lewd. You'll know what I'm talking about when the time comes. Anyway, I must be off. The work of a prophet is never done. Au revoir, baby. What a weirdo, dude. What a freak! Who the heck does he think he is? Hey, wake up, Amy. We got work to do. Ooh, big money. What's this? Save your strength. You ain't going to open it that way. Whoop. Oh, nice. Easy life. Lacquerware set. Each piece of this Japanese lacquerware is said to be unique. Who this? Oh, poor Ume. I wonder if he's okay. Oh, hello there, doggy. You all alone too? I'm Kokari. Pleased to meet you. Small fish boy. Boy of the forest, Kokari. What, this? This is my fishing pole. Actually, there's no fishing line or hook on it right now, but there's a reason for that. My dog Ume and I were exploring a secret place the other day, an ancient building known as the Tatsuta Ruins. We'd never been able to get into the ruins until we found the key deep in the forest, but when we went in, we heard a horrible roar from deep within. I didn't waste any time getting out of there. I locked the entrance to the ruins and hightailed it home. I thought Umaid followed me, but he was nowhere to be found. I bet he's trapped back at those ruins. He must be crying all scared and alone. If you know where he is, then why don't you go rescue him? There's no time to be fishing. Yes, well, there's a reason for that. You see, on my way home from the ruins, I fell near the water's edge and in went the key. I've tried my hardest to fish it back out, but I've lost all my lines and hooks. All I have now is this pole. Wee. Baby Rage. Deep Abyss. This is the famous Deep Abyss of Agatha Forest. Dude, this sad crying noises. I've tried my hardest, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> he sounds so sad and pathetic. Wooden Bear. Though carved from wood, it's as fearsome as the real thing. I am unsure that that is true. Hello? You want to work? Free damage. Wee! Bunnies! Whoops, this one. 
Bunny! Happy bunnies! Sometimes the inking is so finicky. There's another cat statue. More shit, I don't know what it's for. Enhancing weapons. Ooh. That's a thing. Stop it. Divine instruments can be powered up with gold dust. This rare powder is highly valued by merchants and traders. Use it once and the destructive power of a weapon is increased. Gold dust can only be used once and on a single weapon. Even weapons powered up using this method cannot exceed the power of inherently stronger weapons obtained later. So what you're saying is don't ever use it until I have the end game weapon. <laughs> Got it! Waka. Pillow talk. Battle was won by knocking down his thrown swords. No, it wasn't. I just threw bombs at him. Stupid game. Stupid game. Oh, little deer. How feed you. Cute. It's Bambi's dad. Oh, more treasure. No! Dude, look at this OP shit. They just die instantly. Ground is still hard though. Birds. Peepy bird. Flappy birds. Yo, it's that boy. Hello, that boy. Not you again, Fido. Why must you always dog my footsteps? I'm busy practicing a new secret technique. You see, a terrible monster lurks in Taka Pass beyond this forest. It goes by the name Crimson something or other. And then it's rumored to have 100 followers. Yo, that's twice as many as me. What do you mean Crimson something or other? The name slipped my mind, that's all. Anyway, I must rid Taka Pass of that terrible monster before it harms anyone else. But first, I must practice my ultimate secret technique. Then again, the bridge to Taka Pass is out, so why rush? And have no fear. Once I master that technique, I shall venture forth to slay the beast even, after, even if I have to swim those turbid waters. Now leave me be, you cur. I have some serious training to do. Turbid? I'm unfamiliar with that word. Probably means cold or some shit. Happy deer. Wah. Oh, more deer. You thought you could escape with help from the draw distance. I'm going to level up my wallet, I guess. I don't know what it does. 
Did it just add another zero to the top? So I guess I multiplied it by 10. Treasure and a merchant. Battle tips. What you got for me, battle tips? Two important aspects. Holy shit, it's 19 pages. Two important aspects of battle you must be aware of. The bonus system and the floral finisher. Bonuses provide a nice reward for well-fought battles. There are two ways to increase the size of your bone. Yes. Defeat enemies quickly and fight without taking damage. Attack enemies quickly and dodge their strikes. This is the secret to netting a handsome bonus. Bonuses increase the amount of coins dropped by fallen foes. You may want to practice grabbing these dropped coins. Next, we'll discuss the technique called the Floral Finisher. Time warps and slows at the moment a demon leaves the mortal coil. Use the brush at that instant to turn their cadaver into flora. Their resentment will crystallize into a demon fang. Oh, the required technique differs depending on enemy type. You'll need to discover which power to use. Tales abound of collectors enamored with the Beuching fangs. Okay. That's cool, I think. Dear. Oh, dear. How funny. I don't think I've seen a white wolf before. What's your name? What? Come on, tell me your name. You may only be a wolf, but manners are manners. My name's Isun, and the furball here is a Matarasu. It's a bit of a mouthful. Let's go with Chalky, shall we? As for me, I'm the infamous fang trader. Yes, I'm the great Kiba. The great fang trader Kiba. You know about monster leftovers, right? You know what you get when you defeat a monster. I'm talking about demon fangs. Demon fangs? All you need to do is tan those monsters' hides and they drop a demon fang just before they disappear. The aristocrats love to have them as a symbol of power. They'll pay any price you care to ask. So then, Chalk, you got any of them on you? Naturally, I don't expect you to give them to me for free. I have collected treasures from all over Nepal and we can do a swap. I don't think I have any. Increase godhood by one level, increase godhood to max. I, st I don't know what that is. Fills astral pouch instantaneously, keeps demon scrolls at bay. Make a cash offering and sleep on this mat and your wounds will heal. Ooh, I want that one. Draws the valuables near. Did I do it? No, I didn't. Hmm. Oh, another merchant. Oh, what a pain. Deep in Agata Forest, there's a big river called the Narai River. The bridge over it was destroyed in a storm the other day. Now I can't get a hold of any new stock. I've got a lot in reserve I can trade. Feel free to take a look. Ooh, he has the gold dust. The Infinity Stone. Yo, we can be Thanos, dude. The Infinity Stone. The Infinity. How do I use this gold dust? Boom, we're powered up. Jesus, are you okay? I've been throwing shit. Now there's something you don't see every day. A white wolf, you just look just like that Shiranui. There used to be lots of animals here in Agata Forest, but they started to disappear when the number of monsters increased. Oh, listen to me now. It's hardly the time for that kind of chat. Hmm, I wonder what could have happened. I don't suppose you bumped into my son in the forest. Have you? Narai River was flooded during the storm the other day, you see. The bridge to Kusa Village was completely washed away. I asked my son to get to work on building a new bridge, but... 
He's so busy with that dog of his, he just won't make a start. A dog my son's so smitten with is called Ume. I found him injured in the forest a long time ago. My son nursed him back to health, so he's a bit overprotective. He's become so soft, and now he has no sense of adventure at all. But if a man lives in the forest, there are things he has to do. That's why I'm determined to get him to build a new bridge. I'm sure he can do it. I just have to trust him and be patient. I'm sure you do, Dad. I'm sure you do. Don't grab me. I blow you up. I don't like these guys to blame. You have to just sit there. Holy fuck, these do a lot of damage powered up. Boom! Ooh, it's raining money. Radical. Feel the earth return. Oh, I see little. Is it pigs? What are these? Monkeys? What do monkeys do? Mate. Give them the mate. Yo, that's a walnut. Who wants a nut? Who wants a nut? Anybody want a nut? Yo, I got the infinity stone. Any nutters? Ito Shio Spring. Wow, the water's crystal clear. Rather pretentious name, but probably not far off the mark. Fuck you, hard ground. Dear. Oh dear, oh dear. What's in here? Oh, nasty shit. Be gone, nasty shit. Oh. What this? Oh, incense burner. Release only. Who this? New phone, who dis? To Shinshu Field. Where in Shinshu Field does this poop me out? Whee. Shit! I hate this hard ground, dude. I can't clear it with a bomb, can I?
go back in here. Yes. I guess that's just a shortcut, kind of, back to the other zone. A bit of a shortcut. What are you? No? Nothing? I'm gonna blow you up? Fist socket makes me a strong dog, the strongest. Once this nut, oh, no one gets it now. Kid, wake up. I'm sorry. Even cries in his sleep. Let's help the kid out. But how? Bunnies. Wake up. Do you love me already? I forget. Yeah, they didn't love me yet. Now they have no fucking tulips. The Suto ruins that place Kokari made such a fuss about? Gates locked tight. Didn't this kid say he lost the key in the water? There's a lot of water. Look at all this water. There's a lot of water. It's this way. It's daytime already. Cause nighttime lasts like four seconds. I cut you. Hi, yeah. Hi. 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 No. no. Yikes! The river is fucked. Holy crap! We ain't going that way yet. The river is going crazy. I gotta help this little kid out, I guess. Where did he drop the fucking key though? Give him a good headbutt. Okay. Ouch! Now cut that out. There's nothing I hate more than a crybaby. You were the one who left your dog in those dangerous ruins, so you gotta do whatever it takes to get the key and go help him. But, listen here kids, fishing's all about attitude. Attitude! There's nothing you can't catch with the right attitude. Fish, babes, whatever, it all can be yours. Go ahead, act like you're having fun, we'll watch. <laughs> Is that how fishing works? I haven't tried it, really, but... Alright. <clears throat> Boy, this murky water sure gives me the creeps. People call it Deep Abyss because they can't see the bottom. Yeah, that's how it works. But that's not why these waters are famous. Legend has it, a humongous fish 
swallowed the moon reflected on the surface of the water. No one knows if the legend is true, but to this day, the moon never rises here in Agatha Forest. Give the fairy tales a rest, will you, kid? They're so gloomy. Think positive. Have fun. Fun! Okay, Amy, let's use that celestial brush of yours to help him out. There should be some fishing line on this pole, but there's not. Let's make some by drawing a line from the pole to a fish. Draw a line connecting the fishing pole to the fish. Once you have hooked a fish, move the left stick in the opposite direction of the fish's movement. If you pull too hard, the power gauge will move into the red area and the life gauge will begin to deplete. Keep a close eye on the fish and don't overdo it. When you've pulled the fish close, a button will appear on the screen. 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 Press that button to yank the fish out of the water. Use the power slash to finish off your chance. Keep fishing and there you might get a chance to reel in a really gigantic fish. Wait, I said draw it from his line to the fish. Oh, did I actually get a bite? Careful now, kid. Don't pull with all your might. You'll just wear yourself out. Reel it in nice and slow. Dude, these sound effects. Oh, I didn't. That was okay. That was a practice round. You caught Gobi. That's a lobster or something. You caught a crawl fish. Oh, that's a big baby. Later, Verena. Thanks for chilling. Thanks for the sub, dude. Dude, look at this chonker of a fish. Holy God. And for the bits. Ooh, this is a big boy. Fuck you. You caught a giant salmon. Holy crap. Bigger than the kid. Is bigger than me. I'll be damned. Wow, that's a big one. Hmm? But the key. Hey. Th that's the ruins key. It popped right out of the mouth of that big old fish. Now I can go save Ume over at the ruins. It's crazy how that works, kid. I'm gonna go all the way in this time. No running away for me now. <laughs> hey, give that back. No. Good move, Amy. We can't have the kid getting hurt on your watch. Well, what are we waiting for? We got a lost dog to find in Suda Ruins. 